I think I'm done. <laughs> I just did like 30 minutes of weights and stuff for my arms. And this one, she, uh, she beats your butt. Good afternoon. We took a bit of a break from regular, regular, regular scheduling. But we're back and we're gonna nip into the town next to our town to maybe get some lunch. Actually, definitely get some lunch because if we don't get lunch, lunch, Liam will probably murder me. Um, only, I just have... so that I can eat you. Oh, okay. And then have a mooch. So the sun's out. It was a lot gloomier earlier, but it is actually really warm. So, yay for sun. Well, we've managed to park, and I think I'm going to be leaving my glasses in the car because it's now raining and I'm wearing a white t shirt. <laughs> So, uh, good job Scout's got his rain cover for his push chair because we're just gonna get wet now. Nero! Tuna sandwich for Scouty and some fruit. Mummy and Daddy being naughty and having cake, aren't we? Is that nice? Is it good? Uh, I think so. And it started to rain, so um, I said that in the car, but boom! Shopping with Dada. Never, never heard this of. one is twenty pounds less. Uh, only twenty pounds. I don't think we would fit that on our that. on our wall. Uh, oh, it's forty inch. Oh yeah. Sam got washi tape. Washi tape. Which has got nothing to do with washing. No. Nope. Liam's on a hunt for a TV, but we can't buy one yet. Oh, oh. Do they have any line props? No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. I'm soaked. <laughs> After all this rain, uh, all this warm weather we've had, this rain is amazing. <laughs> but I'm not wearing the best trousers. I'm wearing very long baggy trousers and they've now soaked up all of the rain that I walked through. I, uh, I just came out to get in the car because Liam decided he wanted to go and see what the um, Sainsbury's cafe had to offer. Not that we've just eaten or anything, but we've just dyed up some we need, we need to get a new microwave because ours is kind of on its last legs and it's really old and it was like the cheapest one that we could afford at the time pretty much like everything else we've ever bought up until this point has been like the cheapest thing so we've just been looking at some uh, microwaves and i want to get a food processor slash blender because we used to have one and that broke um and yeah here they are did you enjoy that little uh that 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 little adventure yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um the sun is coming out now. Now we're heading home. Oh, it's still raining, mm -hmm. but the sun is coming out. Mm -hmm. Poo to that. I said last night that I would um take today as like a fresh start with my diet and yes we just ate cake, but I'm not intending on having much for dinner tonight. Um but also being the first day that I've given up meat again, I'm still gonna eat fish, like I keep saying for the time being, but I'm gonna try and eat as little as possible. Like if I really want it, I'll have it. I'll have some prawns or some tuna or something, but I'm gonna try and always stick to the vegetarian option. So we picked up some more corn, like chicken fillets and some mints today and Alpro dark chocolate milk, because in my opinion, this is the best. Like, it's just delicious. It's just almond, chocolate goodness and then we also picked up some whole wheat penne because we are running out and i'm now slowly but surely swapping out white for whole wheat it's not um gluten free or anything because we're not really doing that but we have decided to swap the whites for the for the brand um this is a bit better for you and yeah so i'm going to write out a meal plan because we picked up this, which is handy. It has a magnet on the back, so it can just go on the fridge. And if, yes, it actually hangs on the fridge nicely. So that'll help, because normally Liam's like, oh, what's for dinner? And then when I say what's for dinner, he's he doesn't like that. So at least now we can choose and plan together and then stick to it. That's the plan anyway. Whether it'll work or not is another matter. This fearless little monster just took a tumble off the sofa because he thought he'd be clever. No. And he insists on sitting on here. Don't you? I know, I'm going to sit up here, Mama, and play with these. But Daddy tries to make a den out of two cardboard boxes that just aren't big enough. <laughs> it's not working, Liam. <laughs> it's not working. 
watching Liam. <laughs> Don't eat that, please. Yucky. We're going to have dinner in a minute. We're going to have bin bins in a minute. Don't eat my masking tape. You might need that for something. He says, yeah, eating. What are you doing, sir? Are you failing? No. Are you, are you, are you sure? Yeah. What's Daddy doing? Apparently masking tape tastes nice. Mmm, ta. Yum. No. Daddy needs it. So this was Liam's masterpiece and we did have some footage, at least I thought we had, but we totally messed up the camera work and didn't get any footage. So, ta-da! Scout's Den. This one is currently on a come down from catnip. She's still in it. She's like, oh god, my head. Oh yeah, right there. She's never had catnip before. We bought a catnip toy. She went a bit mad for half an hour and now she, she just passed out. Put her away. Oh, you're, oh, you're too cute. She's like, get off me. Do you like the catnip? Luna's not too fussed. Mischief was never too bothered either. Do you like the catnip? Tickle pig. Who's a jiggle pig? <laughs> the den is still going just about. Scotty, where's tickle pig? There. No. There. Where's there? So, oh, build a bear. We have realised that since moving here, we have lost our Primark because Primark is now in Stoke, which isn't that close. I mean, it's close, but it's a bit of a pain to get to. There, we have lost Wagamama's because the closest one is where? Manchester? Salford? Uh, something like that, isn't it? It's like Salford Manchester. Keys or something. So we've lost Wagamama's and we have lost things like Build-A-Bear and Debenhams and... Oh. Crew doesn't have the best town centre. Yeah, yeah. And the retail park, which is slowly getting better, is adding food, like eateries, but they're not adding eateries that we like. Well, actually saying that, they're opening a, what are they opening? Chiquitos a Chiquitos and a Bella Italia. Italia. Yeah, and, uh, and then there's an old um, building that used to be Blockbusters, and it was empty for ages and ages. and. For the, like since we've been here, they've like every time we walk past or drive past, they've been pulling it down and doing something to it. We're like, oh, what are they putting there? Like, it's definitely going to be another restaurant. We knew that, but we were just hoping and hoping it would be Wagon Mamas, but it's going to be Nando's. Can't say I'm excited for Nando's too much, but I'm not excited. Look, the last time I went Nando's was actually not that bad. Yeah, but I just think the, nan the chicken's really dry most of the time. The sauce is crap. And it's like, yeah, great. It's just. Mm. But that last time I had the thigh burger and it was actually really nice. Whereas now I'm not eating meat, I have halloumi yeah, yeah. and what, a bean burger yeah. to choose from? Me. Oh well. I promised myself yesterday that I was going to start exercising today. And instead of hopping on my bike tonight because. I'm tired and I don't want to make excuses that I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do some weights instead and do some upper body like arm exercises I think and then tomorrow I'll probably hop on my bike and make a start on that. Um, but yes, I'm going to do that tonight. But I've officially made it one day without any meat which I'm proud of because every day I've said it like in the past three, four weeks I've been like, I'm not eating meat now. Om nom nom chicken. Om nom nom burgers. Like... I've done it one day and I did it for months didn't I before I did it for like three or four months yeah. and then I was like oh Chris oh that was it Christmas Christmas was my turning point I was like oh I'll just eat Christmas dinner oh I'll just eat this bit of something oh I'll just eat a bit of that and then I kind of just fell off the bandwagon and now I feel really bad so making a difference now and uh, not eating the meats what are you doing tumble 
This is why you fall. Boom. <laughs> yeah, he's got the juggling ball. He's like, no, I've got to keep my juggling ball. What are you doing? Are you going to sit with Mama? Are you going to sit with Mama? Dirty face. Filthy. Filthy boy. Let's go out to bed and it's quarter to eight. So I've just found a couple of arm um, weight type videos on YouTube to try. I don't exercise. I haven't exercised regularly for many years. So I'm just going to try and ease myself slowly into it. Um, yeah, I mean, I started doing the bike just before we moved, but I need to pick things up a bit. So I'm going to try and do this and then maybe about quarter past eight, jump in the shower, have a quick shower, then I'll edit. So I have my weights. These are two kilograms because I have 1.5 kilos <clears throat> weights down there, which are much smaller. Um, but last time I used them, they didn't really, I didn't really feel any effect whatsoever. Um. So I thought I'd try Liam's because they're a bit bigger and a bit, a little bit weightier. So I'll either be a blubbering mess. <laughs> no, that's a bit over exaggerating. Um, yeah, my arms are going to be sore. So hopefully this doesn't hurt too much. I have no upper arm strength whatsoever and I have like no definition. I need some tonage. Toning these arms is a thing that needs to happen. So wish me luck. I think I'm done. I just did like 30 minutes of weights and stuff for my arms. And this one, she uh, she beats your butt real hard. So um, I think I'm gonna stick with her. She seems to really get me hot and sweaty and I have a face on a makeup on, which isn't good. I should have taken it off before I did this, but I'm gonna jump in the shower now and have a really nice shower. I'll see if, it, if I can like, lift my arms. I'm resting my arm on my leg right now to hold the camera. <sighs> but um, I feel good. My arm's gonna hurt tomorrow. I can feel it already. So um, yeah, day one, done. Okay, I think I'm done for the night. So it's five to nine and I'm gonna edit this vlog. Cat, you break that curtain. You little poop head. Stop it. So I hope you guys have had a really good Sunday. It feels like the middle of the week for me at the minute. I don't know why, but um, yeah, Monday. Liam's joining the gym tomorrow and I'm going to continue being good. <laughs> Hopefully this is like turnover of a new leaf because I've been really, really down for the past week. I think that's why we've not really vlogged much or I've not really vlogged much because I've been in a really bad place. Um, excuse my towel, I realise I do look rather, rather attractive, um, but yeah, it's caused a lot of arguments and a lot of disagreements and I'm probably going to end up going back to the doctors to see about going back onto my medication, which I was on two years ago, um, but yeah, really not been feeling good, so I'm hoping that adding a bit more exercise in, or adding some exercise into my daily routine and trying to keep on top of everything because my brain's just been a big fat puddle of mess recently like I've not really been able to get anything I want done because I've either had other stuff on my mind or I've been too mentally exhausted to even do that stuff so I'm hoping that I'm I'm going to try and get back into using my planners and stick into that and like I said, adding the exercise in and eating better and I'm hoping that kind of that will help is definitely not going to cure my bad moods and my depression and everything else that goes with it. And it's never going to go away, but hopefully it will help a little bit and lift my mood a little bit because of, you know, exercise, endorphins, making you happy, blah, blah, blah. But we'll see. Hopefully this is like the beginning of something good. So hope you guys are really well. Sorry for the break again. I know I keep apologising for it, but I really am sorry that we've not really been very good at this recently. Um, still waiting to get our other memory card back, and then Liam said he will try and vlog as well, which would be really nice to have not me talking all the time. So anyway, hope you guys are really well. I hope you guys have had an awesome weekend, and we will see you guys bright and early in the morning. Now, guys. I mean, we've been doing, I've been doing, Daily Jones for probably close to three years on and off now. 